Hey guys, me like Big Boom here, bring you guys an Unturned 3.0 gun comparison video. I've never done one of these before, but I figured it would be pretty useful, especially with guns that are awfully similar to each other, and um, with this gun facility that I've made, I, I better put it to use, you know, I, I spend a lot of time making this thing, so um, I figured I would make a gun comparison video of the two, or arguably the two best assault rifles, or I, actually I think they are the only two assault rifles, but anyway. Um, you know, American and Russian assault rifles, you know, the M16 and the AK-47, you know, battling and out. Um, and unturned, they are extremely similar to each other, so I figured I would compare these two, um, put them, like, statistics versus statistics and recoil patterns against each other to directly compare them to each other and reach a verdict on which one is the better one to use. So, uh, before I get into actual, like, recoil testing and damage testing, I figured I would show you guys um, how these two guns stack up against each other right off the bat, so just statistics that you don't have to test for. Um, so, I've organized basically all the different things uh, that you would compare these two with. There is reload time, rounds per minute, the magazine size, firing modes, slots, like it's slots that it takes up in your inventory, the ammo type, whether it's military or civilian. Civilian is obviously better than military because it's more common. And once you've added the, all those up, uh, alongside the stuff that you test it for, we'll get a total and whoever has the most, um, I guess, wins or whatever, the most check marks uh, will be the victor. So, um, in terms of reload time, the Eagle Fire beats out the Zubeknikov by quite a bit. In terms of the rounds per minute, they are exactly tied at 800 rounds per minute. In terms of magazine size, the Eagle Fire's drum magazine can hold 25 rounds more than the uh, the Ranger drum or the, the magazine for the Zubeknikov. This one is a little bit hard to decide because the stock magazines, the AK-47 actually beats out the Eagle Fire, but I figured drum magazines, the distance between these two, 25 rounds, is like so crazy that um, I figured that the Eagle Fire should probably win in that category because it's 25 rounds more when it comes to the drum magazine. So the Eagle Fire won in that category. In terms of firing modes, they all have access to all three, safety, semi, and automatic. Um, so they were tied in that category. They both take up eight slots in your inventory, a four by two slot. Uh, so they are tied in that category as well. And in terms of the ammo type, the Eagle Fire takes military ammunition and the Zubeknikov takes Ranger ammunition, which takes civilian ammo. So Zubeknikov, big plus for that. That's the main reason why I like the Zubeknikov in Unturn 2.0, because you could find civilian ammo for that. So that's a big deal. Zubeknikov beat the Eagle Fire in that, and that's a, that's a pretty big one. So the next things that we need to test are recoil, damage, and damage at different ranges, long range, medium range, and close range. So we're going to need to go quickly because the bullets actually disappear um, when, when you wait too long. So I will aim at, starting at this first line, aiming at that telephone pole that I put. No moving the mouse, just holding down the, the left mouse button. Alright. So right off the bat, I'd have to say the Eagle Fire definitely wins in this category because while the Zubeknikov, um, the, the bullets are closer to each other, they're all all over the place, you know, they're squiggly squaggling all over the wall and it's unpredictable and it's harder to compensate for the recoil that way. The Eagle Fire just has a perfectly vertical spread and you're able to compensate for that just by simply moving your mouse down every time you shoot. So definitely the Eagle Fire wins in that category, but the Zubeknikov might make a comeback when it comes to the damage category. So let me pick up some a few more magazines real quick. Alright, so Zubeknikov, let's test out headshots on these zombies and then test out body shots real quick. And it looks like there's not enough zombies for us to test out, so let me disconnect and reconnect. There we go, there's some more zombies. Alright, so Zubeknikov, make sure it's equipped, make sure we have not zero shots. There we go, we got 75 rounds. And in terms of a headshot, I do believe it is a two-shot kill. Oh no, it's a one-shot kill. Alright, so one-shot kill for the Zubeknikov, and in terms of body shots, it is... A three-shot kill. Now, moving on to the Eagle Fire. One-shot headshot. And once again, a three-shot kill to the chest. So very cool. They're exactly tied. 
in that regard, so they both get a check mark in that category. Now moving on to the long range and medium range and close range damage, um, I'm also going to take into account their bullet spread and inaccuracy, so if they are extremely inaccurate, they will pretty much automatically lose that category, and if they both are completely inaccurate, then they won't get a check mark either. So. Uh, let's start with the Zubeknikov. I have 8 dime zoom scopes on hand for this. I'm also going to do this lying prone for less recoil. Alright. Relatively inaccurate. Alright. So keep in mind that bullet spread, those bullets are landing like in a perfect line exactly where I do not want it to land. Now let's test out the Eagle Fire with an 8 time zoom scope and see if it's more accurate. Oh wow, this is dead on accurate. Look at that. This is dead on accurate long range weapon. This can be a sniper. It is dead accurate. Eagle Fire definitely wins in the long range category and as a result of that it's obviously going to win in the medium range category and um, I'm sure in the close range category it's probably going to tie but just in case I'm going to run the tests at medium range with the Zbeknikov to see if it actually is able to kill zombies efficiently at medium range and if they if it is then uh, they will tie in that category but definitely uh, Eagle Fire gets the check mark in the long range and testing out for the close range or, or medium range um, I'd say it gets a I'd, I'd say it gets a half a check mark in this category Die! Alright, so, <laughs> all right, so um, I say the Zbeknikov gets a half a check mark in that category, and the Eagle Fire wins in all of them, so he gets a check mark in that category as well. So when you add them all up, the Eagle Fire gets a total of 10 check marks. That is, that is crazy. Almost all the categories except for the ammo type, and the Zbeknikov ends with six and a half check marks, uh, not nearly as much as the Eagle Fire, but when you take into account the fact that the Zubeknikov takes civilian ammo, that is a massive aspect. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. If you guys would like to deal with the um, higher upkeep cost of a uh, of a of an Eagle Fire, having to go to military locations with military zombies, uh, stuff like that, to refill your Eagle Fire for all this all these extra benefits, that recoil, that damage, the the sniper ability of it at range, um, you're going to have to take that into account and decide whether or not it's worth it to have to go in military locations to get ammo for it. The Zubeknikov is kind of playing it safe. You're never really going to run out of ammo in this thing. Civilian ammo you can find anywhere, um, but it comes at the cost of, of inaccuracy, a longer reload time, a smaller magazine size, stuff like that. So my final verdict, um, after using it, I'd have to say probably the Eagle Fire is going to be my personal preference. You know, I'm not crazy paranoid about going in military locations as much as some people are. Um, so definitely Eagle Fire is the choice for me. You guys should comment down below what your guys' preference is after looking at this comparison. In addition to that comment, you guys should also comment what other guns you guys would like to see me compare. Maybe the uh, the Nykarev and the Dragon Fang or some other snipers, maybe the Timberwolf and the Showfield, stuff like that. Comment that down below and I will be sure to take that into consideration. But anyway, that is all I have for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that to birth because you know I think Boom. Yeah.